Okay, guys, so we're on the road. Got me a clean tech card from the gas station. Prices have dropped, but like at this one at Caltex, they're up on the high end. And back there, there was uh, 67, 66. Now, see how this is? The, the road just drops off mm -hmm. right there. And you drop way down in a hole, so, you know. You better have a, a car that's a high off the ground for that one. Uh, you gotta go really slow if you got some of them other cars. So then here's the roundabout. We're in Mexico now. We're headed for San Fernando, the capital of Pampanga. But this guy's gonna pull right out in front of me. And I ain't gonna let him go because he's really slow and he stops everywhere. Of course, he could be come rumbling by me any second with the hammer down. And then stop right out in front of me. But yeah, you got to be careful here, or you will, you know. And overtaking, yeah, you can overtake anywhere, as far as the, as far as is concerned. But you're really supposed to overtake on the left side. So here we are in. Uh, oh, we was talking about language a while ago when I was off camera. I was like, so I, I thought I would just try to speak a little bit in the native tongue here to that fellow that was pumping my gas and he got really excited and started talking to me and I couldn't speak back to him, could I? So I started asking mom, what's he saying? What am I supposed to say? <laughs> anyway, he, well, is, he was happy that I was trying to learn a language. Yeah. And he was really excited about that and he asked me, I think, how much uh, Tagalog did I know? And it, I don't know very little and, and everybody knows that, but I understand a lot more words now, and even in Copenhagen, I understand the words that they say to each other, but I don't know them all. I can't say them all. The ones that I do know, I can't say them all. I understand more than I can say. Let's put it that way. So, for example, I say, Kamusta ka? Kamusta ka? Um, I say, okay, Lang. Saan <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, ka pupunta? I don't remember that one. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, yeah. But, yeah, so she asked me the first thing was, come uh, stuck I was, how are you? Or, or she's just greeting me for, and, and it's, but actually that was how are you, because come stuck I on the end, the car on the end. So I said, okay, Lane. And, and that means I'm okay. Yeah. And then the proper thing, I guess, to say was to say it back to her. And you, what is it? How do you say and you? Atikao. Atikao. And you say that, you're asking them how are they too. And there's a lot of things I do know that I can't even pronounce, but I know what they're saying when they're saying it. Kapapangan language is very hard compared to Tagalog, you know. And I guess English is really hard too to learn all our slangs and stuff. How about takla? You know takla? Yeah, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> they don't. We can't. That. We can't be dirty on this camera. You know what's a takla? <laughs> uh, I got a takla. Yeah, they don't have a. Oh, it's raining now. It's raining now, guys. Yeah. You get some rain with us today. Yeah, but if this is the traffic like before. I mean, well, remember we're, the last time that we went? Yeah, well, uh, now we're a little bit early. Yeah. Early, so I guess here comes the. The windshield wipers for you guys. Mm -hmm. We're a little bit early, and here we are in Mexico already. Uh, last time we came, I think we were halfway there. <laughs> yeah. And the traffic is still here, and it's raining, so it's going to slow it down a little bit. But I'm going to tell you, it's a lot better than it was. So what we'll come up on is some bridges now. And since it is raining, I don't know how long it's been raining here. It may have just started here but too. Is it up? It's, you it's, see it? If I do that, I can't see behind me, though, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I just need side mirrors. Um, I can fix it somehow, adjust it. Anyhow, so we'll just pull you up to speed here. We'll come up on a bridge that usually there's flooding here. And it rained real hard yesterday, so, yep, here we are on the flood. Got to slow down here. Because everybody else does. I, well, I think there's a typhoon. Maybe a typhoon in town. Yeah. In town, I say, on the islands. But yeah, I was watching a, a thing last night on the phone where it was uh, 
saying that there is typhoons close close to the island. So maybe this is some typhoon rain. There's not any wind though. Just the rain. Yeah, I had a I hey this is gonna be a blockbuster because look, I got rain and driving in traffic. Yeah. In one video. What about that guys? Anyway, I, I, this will be the part two of, of uh, driving without time lapse. <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. And here comes that red uh, jeepney up behind me. He's flying, and he's gonna try to take over the the right side of me. I'm sure at any second now. Yeah, here it comes. So see how they drive? They'll drive halfway in between one and the other lane. I mean, and then they'll switch back and forth, and you got to deal with all that. But if you want to drive here, let me fix this just one more time. If you want to drive here, you better have your head on a swivel, because people just do amazing things that will just, you know, any other driver in any other place will really freak them out. And I, I catch myself sometimes splitting lanes just to miss traffic on the left or the right that's over in my lane that happens a lot too with uh, scooters scooters will come by in your lane and i think it's only raining right there but here yeah, it not. looks like it just quit didn't it it's just half 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 rain yeah half rain well, we got a half rain guys that washed off my vehicle yeah and those crv's looking clean outside now <laughs> Anyhow, so we're up here in Mexico. Santiago, I think. No, it's Mexico. I know it's Mexico, but the barangay right here, I think, is Santiago. No, it's not. On this, on this sign, Mama, it says it. Santo Rosario. You know the, the shortcut up here? Yeah, San Lorenzo. I think that's San, that is San Lorenzo. Okay. And then... Really, downtown Mexico, we don't ever get into, do we? Or is it at that church? Yeah. Okay, it's at the church. We're about to go over another mm -hmm. uh, little turn back to the right. I mean, that back to the left at the church. And I think that puts us right in downtown Mexico. I think that's part of the downtown Mexico. I think if I went right, I'd be in downtown Mexico, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. So, there's a shortcut right there, but I don't want to go that way because they were working on the roads the other day. So, we're going to go the regular way. And what's the name of that yeah, church? It's traffic. Santa Monica. Santa Monica Church. church yeah. So, yeah, it is Santa Monica Church. Mm -hmm. And that's an old church too, but not quite as old as Santa Ana Church. Yeah, it's not bigger than Santa Ana Here comes Jollibee again and McDonald's and uh, Jeepney wants out. He's full, so he'll probably run on. He may not stop nowhere else. Although they'll pack them in there just as tight as they can. And the Jeepney prices have went up. They used to be. There's another one. This comes on out, buddy. That's just the way they do. I got a bike running beside of me. Anyway, guys, you can see it's all offensive, defensive driving at the same time. <laughs> That's what I call it. 66.34 at refill. Oh, cheaper here? Cheaper here. Not a lot. And I wasn't completely empty. I was on a quarter tank. And so... I only had to pay what two thousand three hundred two thousand three hundred to fill up from a quarter tank. So I don't know how many liters I put in, but it holds about forty six liters or so, fifty liters maybe. Yeah, I think I got oh, a. I think it's only thirty five. No, I got a fifty liter tank in here because I remember I pulled up, I, I, I filled up from almost empty and it got forty six. So. It's probably about a 50. Oh, guys. Mm. 